tax pegged at about 2.5% of the value of the car. Mm -hmm. And we told people, you have a window of time to give your thoughts on this finance bill. Whether you are for it or against it, be specific about what you are opposing or what you are supporting and um, write a letter either to uh, the National Treasury or Enda Kwa Barraza and make, make it known to your local MCA and MP. And yeah. some people are doing exactly that. I have my own small, small complaints about civic education and how it's not been done over the years. I remember, Mariam, we would be trained about the Constitution. Mm. Actually, have some small, small uh, uh, groups come to our schools and tell us this is how you vote this mm -hmm. is how you apply for your id this mm. is how you know they True. they looked simple but now when it comes to like petitioning and actually having such an exchange mm -hmm. and getting to understand what our rights are then it becomes such a huge problem right now we're looking at a situation whereby in as much as we'd like to interrogate uh, the proposed bill most people do not know first of all where to get a clear copy of True. the proposed uh, uh, b uh financial bill mm -hmm. but this inclusion of a vehicle tax in 2024 uh, finance bill has been criticized on grounds that it uh, goes against the constitution. And I believe that it's true. It needs to be interrogated, at, at least according to uh, the expert. This is, uh, what's his name? Ernest, Ernest Morio yes. of Ernest and Associates said that the imposition and the administration of such attacks uh, is the preserve of devolved government. So they should also go, not only go through the National Assembly, should also go through the Senate. That's right. He said um, the proposed motor vehicle tax is a property rate that touches on county governments and only counties can impose the tax not the national government he told this to uh the committee the budget committee that is chaired by Molo mp kimani kuria the constitution says that any bill that touches on county governments must be considered by the national assembly and the senate um this is him doing his part as far as public participation is concerned right because mm -hmm. this is an ordinary citizen um speaking to parliament there's also another proposal on the floor uh, as part of this finance act that would have an increase uh, in the price of oil by about 160 shillings a liter Mm -hmm. the price of edible oil mm -hmm. uh, the movie the move sorry is due to a proposal of 25 percent excise duty on raw and refined vegetable oils contained in again this new finance bill 